Hi hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be doing another Take Tuesday video and this time I'm doing it on Keynote. And in my last video I talked about Keynote and some of you guys requested the Keynote tutorial so I was like hey okay let's do it. So yeah, Keynote is basically the Apple version of PowerPoint and I'm pretty sure you can do the same thing in PowerPoint. Um, I think you can do a little bit more in Keynote but yeah um but you can do you can get away with using powerpoint if you do not have a mac product but i get a lot of things that i want to recreate from this website called pixel film studios and this is just one that a lot of bigger youtubers and just youtubers in general they really have to have to be bigger but they actually pay for these as you can see they're 30 dollars right um so when i recreate them i try not to make them look identical to this because i mean that's kind of like copyright and all of that i don't want to you know steal from them but i do kind of get the inspiration from there and this is just one that i did actually make a few of these that's similar um, I didn't do it in today's video. The one that I'm doing is actually like a location pin kind of thing. I couldn't find the actual one on the website. I saw it on there one time, but I did see it in this video here uh, from Nicole Guerrero. And it's actually that text effect there. And you can see how it just kind of like pops up like a location pin type thing. So I'm going to go ahead and recreate that today in Keynote. Alright, so Keynote just basically looks like this little panel keynote thing there i'm gonna go ahead and open that up and then i'm gonna click the black one you can go with the white one but i need to go with the black one all the time um yeah i like to change the color to green i do go in and i change the background color to green so you want to click format and then you want to go to background and you want to change it to green just because we are going to be working with here in the um final cut pro so you want to make sure it's a green screen uh, then you want to go to settings and you want to go to slide size and custom size. You want to change the size to 1350 over 760 or you can do 1200 over 8 by 800. So yeah, <laughs> then you want to go in and delete those. I just like to delete those. You really don't have to but I just do. And then we're going to go up here to shapes and I'm going to go in and add a line. I'm going to just basically show you guys how these are just different colors but i'm just going to add the line i like to use this line here that you can really just change the size you can make it straight or you can make it uh curved you can move it around and i just got this one because it's three points that you can actually move instead of the actual two end points so that's why i wanted to use this one today and then oh and basically you can change like the uh, shape of the line, the type of line that it is, the color of the line, the size, everything about the line, you can actually change it. So that's what I'm basically showing you guys there uh, when you go in and you add that. And once I've done that, I actually changed it to like a straight line and I changed it to white and I changed the point to one point. Yes, I didn't change it yet, but I'm going to change it to one point. It's just going to make it show up a little bit more. I'm going to go in to add text at the top and I'm going to just add a bracket so I just press the bracket key on the keyboard and it just added the bracket in so I'm actually going to change the font size and the font of this because I didn't like how bold it looked so I went in and I changed the font to like more of a kind of natural font and not really like a big bold font. And yeah, just kind of change the size to make it as big as I wanted. So that's pretty good there. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of connect it, and then I highlighted both of them, and then right clicked it and grouped it. That's how you connect the two things together. It just connects everything together, and you can move it around and work with it as one instead of two separate parts. But I ended up going in and ungrouping it because I did not want to. Um, build it together I want it to build it separately so we're going to go up here to animate which is the second one at the top there and we're going to work on building and these are just some of the different ones that you can play with and just see which one you like but I decided to go with white and like I said I went back in and ungrouped it and kind of did everything separately it changed the size of the line um, just to get it kind of more like hers 
uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go back in and build it in, then I'm gonna build the mess separately instead of together. So I'm just clicking the line and just working with that one, and I'm going in and adding white, and then I'm gonna change it from bottom from bottom right, so that's where it's gonna start it, and then clicking the bracket and going right in white, and then changing it from the left. Yeah, so when it builds in, it's gonna come in from the left. Um, if you want to go in and go to build order, you just kind of change the build order and make sure everything comes in together in the order that you want. You can move them around, and I like to do with build one or after build one, and that way you kind of just see which one you wanna, which one you wanna, how you wanna do it, which one you wanna do. Yeah. So I'm gonna go up here to the top and click play, and I went back to the video just to see how her line looks. I went in and I changed the end point to none. Um, of that one and just kind of connected it connected more and just make sure it kind of looks like hers and then you want to go to start transition and you want to click automatic and that way it will as soon as you play it it will come on and not when it clicks so that's basically how you do it all right so we're gonna go ahead and export it and you want to export it in quick time that way it will be a video when you open it up in Final Cut Pro so you want to make sure all the settings are there typically the uh, natural settings are right when you open them up um, but those are just my settings I never really changed them so I'm just gonna go ahead and change the title and add the file that you want to add it to and then create the movie and then you also want to save it in case you ever have to come back in and edit that particular file and then you want to open it up in Final Cut Pro so you want to go to import and just I showed you guys all of this in the last video um, and then yeah just import the file and once you have it imported you just kind of want to add it on top of there and then go to keying I did show you guys how to key in the last video but this is just kind of a sped up version of how you do it and you actually see it there <laughs> once it gets on the screen my computer was actually running a little slow at this time but yeah so you actually want to make sure that it's there and then I just showed you guys how to add the title in I actually went into title and then went to custom and then just typed something in like um hello or something like that yeah and i just typed in hello just so you guys no actually i think i went with move i didn't went with move or custom but you can do it in both of them i can't really remember which one but you want to go with slide and just kind of move the um words and then kind of decide whichever way you want it's like right to left or left to right whichever way you want it to go and then once you get it to your liking you just kind of move it around and make sure it's all lined up together i like to compound the key together so i do highlight both of the clips and then right click it and then um make a new compound compound clip cl oh i cannot talk compound clip <laughs> yes <laughs> And once you do that, that way you can work with both of the clips together. And then you can like transform and change the size and everything. Make it to your liking. So yeah, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Tech Tuesday video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.